live here another week of the Tony Sand Show. Hey, what you waiting up? Check, check, cause on your phone. This the Tony Sand Show. Turn your radio on. Kelsey just to die like a field goal, so we in the zone. Got games like a stadium. I'ma go ahead and pack the dome. I'm cooler, smoother. Make you think with your medulla. You a school it. I'ma school you with the facts that I'm producing. This is for the high schoolers, college students. Nah, everyone can do it. Do this. I ain't new to this. My style is rich. It's lucrative. Maneuver through it. You know we fast on it. Uh, it, it starts, man, from the moment these kids step foot on campus. I mean, it's, it's a huge accomplishment to them, their commitment to not only on the football field, but in the classroom especially. Uh, if you look at the, the five guys that we have coming up tonight, uh, three of the five are mid-year graduates. Uh, we, have, we have another uh, six or seven guys that will be mid-year graduates. So it's a, it's a total commitment. I remember when we first did this yes. six or seven years ago yes. with my man Jerry Judy. Yes. Uh, shout, shout out to Jerry Judy who started it all. So like say, Exactly. We look at that he started this. And look at where we're at this point. Now we're here we are. Now we got five guys yes. that are committed. And, and that's a tribute to you, the effort that you put into this. And I, and I tell you every year that I, in Broward and what I've seen throughout the state, there's not another coach that put that much effort into making sure that their guys get into, into schools. We hear a lot of places that people have a myth that that goes on. But it is reality on Buck territory. But it does not start here. It starts during the summer. Yes. Let people know what you do when it comes to your tour because I don't know if enough people understand what goes into preparing for a tour. And we're talking here with Coach Glenn from Deerfield Beach, Buck Pride here in Deerfield Beach on this commission. Great commitment signing day. Get into what goes into preparing for a tour. And let people know, when I say a tour, they may think one or two Yeah, schools. yeah, yeah. Let them know what goes into that tour. I uh, mean, it's a lot, it's a lot of planning. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a lot of due diligence from the, it's a lot of details. So, you know, when we start planning college tour around January, as soon as colleges release their schedule, yes. you know, as far as camp dates and things of that nature, then I've got to dive in and, and start to, you know, do my due diligence to see where we can be uh, this summer, man, 31 schools in 12 days. So. It was, it was remarkable. It was a blessing for the, the kids to be able to go out. And we, we like to get out and take the shine and the, you know, the ooh and ah off of recruiting. You know, the okay. oh, fancy stadiums, fancy okay. uniforms. Right. Yeah, we, we can knock all that off. Let's get there and let's get to the state, the meat and potatoes of you know, recruiting. So I want, I want to be able to, to take the kids there. So you know, college and university, they want to be able to wow my kids. I'm going to wow them. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to give them the real, you know, so about why you want to be there. Now you said how many schools in how many days? 30, 31 schools, 12 days. How many kids? 37. Okay. Okay. How do you take 37 high school kids and finish up a major college tour in 12 days? You must explain how you went up 95 and possibly coming down 75 on your return. How do you plan? How, I mean, what goes in? You got to see, a lot of people don't understand what goes into preparing for that. Yeah, I mean, it, it's. No, I, I get a lot of the credit for it. I, I've got dedicated coaches that, that help me along the way. You know, we're, we're taking out time away from their families to come out and help me to help these kids dream chase. So, you know, we're driving this year. We went as far north as uh, Western Carolina, up in the mountains, driving through the mountains. So that, that was, you know, a different, very different. Uh, far west is <laughs> LSU. Different now. Yeah, what different. What do you mean by what we're saying by the word different? What uh, is different about going up in the mountains? Oh, uh, man. I mean, you can be driving on one side of the road and the. The opposite traffic is 30 feet below, and it's a, a two-lane highway, and you're twisting and turning, and no radio station. But well, you know, it, 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 it's different. It, it's definitely not South Florida. Now, how is it when you take certain kids, when you take some of these kids out? Understand, you got to some of these kids have never been out of Broward County. Yes. And now you are taking these kids out of Broward County, out of the state of Florida. What is that feeling like when you know you're taking a young man? and possibly gonna change his life. But not only his life, you're gonna change probably the dynamics of his family's life. Yeah. What is that like? Oh man, it's a great feeling. And I'll tell you, one of the reasons I do it, because it was done for me. 
Uh, the Honorable Judge Zebedee Wright was the yeah. first black circuit court yeah. judge. That was my little league coach, my first coach ever at 10 years old. Wow. And he did things like, you know, picked me up for my, my inner city neighborhood, picked me up out of projects, and took me to his house up in Avon Park. Just showed me there was a difference between what I was experiencing every day in Fort Lauderdale. And so that's where the basis of what I do comes from, from everything he did for me. So shout out to uh, Judge Zebedee Wright. Just got six yeah. court in Fort Lauderdale, named after him yesterday. So that's my guy, 100 grand, yes. After he and his wife, uh, the late uh, Dr. Kathleen Wright, so their street that they live on in Fort Lauderdale was named after them yesterday. See, see, and this, that's history. Yeah. Because I would, I never in a million years matched those two together. Yes. That that was his wife. Yes. Yep. I wonder how many people here really understand or really know that Kathleen Wright, who the school board of Brown County building yes. is named after, is the late wife to them. Judge Deborah yeah. Wright. Yeah. I, I would have never, I never knew that in the years that, and that's a history lesson for me. Yes. Uh, when we talk about Broward County, and now to know that Broward County has thought enough yes. to name him, to name it. It is yeah, yeah, it, it was a blessing. Man. I was so proud of that moment uh, yesterday. Wow. It really, really brought joy to my heart, man. That, that, that's my guy. They, they took me in as a, a young 10 year old, yeah. and still to this day, I mean, my, my phone rings, it's Coach Wright. <laughs> it's time to tighten up. If you know Coach Wright, you know he. And coming up at that age, we very rarely have an opportunity to know personally a judge. Yes, yes, yes. Only time we tend to find it, to know the name of a judge <laughs> is when we're in a courtroom yes, yes, on yes. the other side. Exactly. But you had an opportunity to know a judge from Positive aspect. What was yeah. that like for you growing up as a young man? I mean, it, it was amazing. I mean, just the, the, the impact that he had. I saw what, you know what I'm saying, for black excellence. You know, I saw what it looked like. I saw what a, what, a black, what a black family looked like. It was good. If you just look at some of the guys that were on my team at 10 years old, Keon Doolin, yes. plays uh, assistant coach at the Utah Jazz right now, Clarence Gibble, played right. overseas for many years from Dillard. Um, uh, Chris Gamble yeah. played the yes. Carolina yes. Panthers, yes. Major Parker. The, the list goes on. A, a lot of excellence came from that little minivan he was driving around. So that's, you know, that's, it's that's, awesome, that's, man. That's, that's big. And, and, you, and you talk about the minivan that he was driving around. Yeah. And I pulled up on you today. <laughs> and that's what I, I, I saw. These type of things that where it is helping young men get to a whole nother level yes, of yes. their success. Let's, let's break down some of the guys that have not only if they've been on the show but you have had an opportunity to say guess what i had a part in that kid's success mm -hmm. name some of the guys that are that are in the nfl that are having success now and people don't realize this when you answer that question i don't think a lot of people really understand this because we look at certain schools mm -hmm. and we say in a myth that that school has a lot of guys in the league yes but they got to understand that Deerfield is up in that, that list. Oh yeah, most definitely. And a lot of people, when we say up in that list, see when we say a city, and I and I was in the barber shop, you know, we're in the barber shop, yeah, yeah, and yeah. here at, at Pro Cups, we get down in the barber shop. Yeah, the barber yeah, shop yeah. get heated now. Yes, yes. And uh, I had to break it down to the guys. When we look at a school, but then we break it down to a city within a school, mm -hmm. a city now, when we talk about schools like St. Thomas, their kids are coming from possibly Miami, Palm Beach, uh, Western, and they're saying, okay, now we have a lot of guys in the NFL. But when we're talking about one city, I tried to research it. Deerfield Beach, when you look at the guys that are in the NFL that's coming from one city, I'm not talking about surrounding cities, Deerfield Beach, from what I researched, is the number one school in the nation for active guys out of one particular city, not other cities. And that's what a lot of people lose the focus on and not understand that Deerfield Beach is uh, number one in the league when it comes to one city. Definitely. I'm proud of that. Definitely and, and proud that, of that. And how does that feel to you? And it goes back to my question I asked you about some of the guys that have come up under you and you may be out giving them something to eat because they were hungry. How many guys now are in the league? Because I see you on another tour yeah. and you're stopping by those. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the pull, so, that's the pull-up tour. Check, yeah. check it on my Oh, so that's what you call the pull-up tour. That's the pull-up tour, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, with that being said, if 
you pull up on a guy like Jerry Jones, what do he say to you? Uh, just, just checking on it, but there will be. You know, you got so many guys that are, and so many people and entities that are pulling at them just from a football standpoint yes. and treating them like a business. They know when coach roll up, it's just family. You know, it's just, you know, once they get to that, they're just, yeah. it's, it's unk, you know what I'm saying, coming up. I'm still coach, you know, we're going to come there, and a lot of times it's just therapeutic. You know, to be there, sit there, check on their well being, how they doing, how your family doing, you know. Is there anything I can do? So, at the end of the day, it don't matter. Jerry, Jerry Jr. 30 million dollars, he's still my guy. He's still my guy. He's still my guy. If you look at him, hey, this is, this is one of my players, yes. and he respects Hey, this is my culture. Definitely, definitely. I respect Buck Pride and I wear it uh, with pride. Yes. There's, like I told you, this coach tonight, yeah, my guy. Yes. That are committing to national power five school. Now, you have these five. What is that pressure like to make sure that all your guys at some point wind up where there's power five? or anywhere, as long as they get an opportunity yeah. to get an education, how much of this pressure like this even puts on you more to make sure that those guys that are not here may shine at some point? What that pressure is like? Uh, believe it or not, it, it, it's no pressure now. You know, the guys that have come before them, you know, the guys right. from the Brandon Powers, the yes. Jerry Judys, you know, yeah. the Riley Ridley, the yeah. Jason Shorebridge, they've shown them the way. So okay. now, we're kind of a well more a machine where it kind of runs itself, so it's not yeah. as hard. You know, in the, the, the beginning years, there's a lot of groundwork and foundation yeah. that had to be laid in. You know, uh, we, it was a hard hat area at that time. Yeah. But now, I can, I can have guys like, you know, Riley Ridley, when we were up in Chicago after we visited Iowa yeah. and um, yes. Northern North. We pull up, we go to Dave and Buster's, and he's pulling these guys to the side and, you know, buy them something to eat, let them know, hey, yeah. man, this is how we do things at Deerfield. Yeah. So, you know, we, we're, we're not, this is, we don't do this, we don't do that. You know, we, we, we get it down. So these guys now are, are passing on. You know, same way how Judge Everett D. Wright did for me, you know, now they got big brothers. You know, the, the Powells, the Judys, the, the Ridleys, uh, Aaron Robinson, James Pierre, JPP. You know, they got guys that can so this is the new standard at Deerfield, and we don't fall short of that. So whether that's in the classroom, on the football field, out in the community, you know, we're changing the game, changing the landscape, changing what is. The definition of Deerfield beats football is different now to the high level. And you're talking about changing the landscape. Coach, you come in and get awarded this job after Coach Jackson. Yes. How much pressure was that on you? Or was that even any pressure on you to take over a powerhouse program like Deerfield Beach? and then live up to the expectation of this community. Because now, we're the community that, from the yeah. youth league all the way up to high school, they expect a certain level of success, yeah. and that is not going to fall to the wayside. Deerfield is a city that demands winning games. Yeah. What was that pressure like to you? Believe it or not, man, it's not pressure because Inside the building, we believe that we're supposed to yes. win a game. We're supposed to yes. win state championship. That's what we shoot for. So it's pressure when you don't believe yes. it inside. Yes. But you know, when I wake up every morning, I, I'm hell bent on bringing Deerfield Beach his first state championship. And that's listen, coach. And I, and I gotta tell you, you know, I, listen, I'm in, I'm in the barber shop. Every time I go in there to get a half cup, uh -huh. I'm repping Buck Pride. I'm on you. I'm on. Hey, listen, I'm on. Hey, listen, back up. Back, yes, back, back up. Yes, sir. And you know, let me tell you, one time we got into a heated argument and I... I, 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 I don't know if you're cuts. I don't got yeah. up in there got some Listen, listen. I went into pro cuts, right? And they went to talk. So this is what I tell the brothers. You know, I said, wait a minute, hold on. I'm going to go around to every chair in there. And my son in there, too. Yeah. So I have to get on him. I go around to every chair. I say, listen. Before you guys say anything, anything, I want to ask you guys one question. Whether it's time or money, mm -hmm. have any one of you guys did that for that program? Yeah. If you can't answer that you gave money, if you can't answer that you gave your time, you should yeah. not be complaining. That's true. I got, I, got, I, got, I got the maxed out credit cards to prove you know, so what I put into it. Now, listen, Coach, that's, and I tell them, I say, don't complain. If you haven't put anything in the bucket, don't complain. And it doesn't mean money. Yeah. Hey, coach, you need me to pick up some water for some guys. Yeah. That's time. Don't be expecting things if you are not putting in things. Flow with the process. Believe in the process. But, coach, listen, we're going to go to a quick commercial break, and we're going to get here and get this thing rolling. You're yeah, going to yeah. be up here with us, and we're going to roll through this commitment show because we got five guys that we got to yeah. get. And I'm quite sure that them and everybody around the nation yes. is waiting to see 
yeah. where these guys go. So yeah. we'll be back here in about two minutes to get this thing ready to go. Buck Ride Buck is in boys. the building. Buck Ride! When I say this is the biggest commitment show in the country, takes place, and it takes place with one scoop. And that's Deal Bill Beach, Buck Pride. How many Buck Pride people we got in the building? Yeah. Mr. Yes, How long have you waited for this opportunity? Since eighth grade. Since eighth grade? Yes, have, and I'm quite sure you've seen in the years that, have, that we've led up to this. Yes, Two years ago, we did this. Yeah, and you was, in, you was in the audience. Yes, what was going through your mind when you was in the audience watching other guys uh, sign and commit to school. Like my brother, I just said, I just want to be there one day. One day I'm going to be there. I'm going to be up, up, up here at Duffus. You want to be up, up at Duffus. So this means a lot to you guys when it comes to announcing where you're going to go. Yes, sir. It means a lot. What has Coach Glenn, what have Coach Glenn done for you and how has he been a mentor to you? On a day-to-day -day basis, just like another father figure in my life. Every day, just sitting down with him, talking to him about anything. You come to him about anything, he always gonna be there for me. And you say anything, and, and, and let's get into that. You say anything. Yes, sir. So there's not nothing that you couldn't go to Coach Glenn and say to him that he's either gonna give you an answer or get you an answer. Yes, sir. It was and you, you was one of the ones that went on this 12-day college tour. What is that like? Because a lot of people, they heard it from Coach Glenn's side. Yes, sir. What is it like for a student that is potentially getting ready to, you know, for schools to look at? What was that like for you? It's a learning experience, just learning how these power five colleges work, learning how to, just learning the ropes around the game. Just, it's a day experience, just every day going about it. Just, it's a great experience. And now, traveling this tour have brought us to this point yes, in your life. We understand that when we make these decisions, these decisions could be life changing for a young man. For several reasons. Now, this game has gotten even bigger for you guys from a standpoint of how things work and where things go. You got to, is your family here with you? Yeah, right there. My mom, my dad. Come on, my brother. Now, come on up. The rest of them, my family too. But probably anybody with a dead foot be sure that's my brother. All my brother. All 50 of them. I, 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 I know we don't got enough room backstage, but we want to bring, well, let's bring your parents on up. Let them come up with you. Hold on, D. Hold on, y'all. Come on, come on. Bring them on up with you. We can't, listen, we can't do this and we don't have, and they're in the building and we do not bring them up. Boy. That, you know, that's, that's the original. And that's some carriages. So we got to make sure that they're in the building. Yes, sir. With you. Yes, sir. Always remember, yes, families first over everything. Never underestimate that. They're gonna be with you when this thing is over. Because this thing do come to an end. And they're going to be that genuine person that stays with you. You come back off the tour. How do you break down the schools that you're trying to attend? How do you break that down? Just going off uh, playing relationship. I talk to all the uh, recruiting directors and all that. Just making sure like it's an everyday experience. Just making sure they really take and can in on me. Just just me as a person and me as my family, making sure they talk to me. Coach Willie Smith, all the other he's talking about. How many schools have you broken this thing down to? Some people say, I got five, I got three. How many schools have you broken this down to? I got one school. One school? One school. Oh, so you said, heck with it, I want one school. Yeah, heck with everybody else. I know what, what was it about this one school? Because I don't want to reveal the one school because no, I want to no, let no. you reveal it. What was it about this one school and hoping that while you are talking about this one school, it don't let people clue in on what the school is until you, what was it about this school? Probably just being uh, a home feeling, just something that just made me feel like I'm at home all the time. So I ain't never gonna have to worry about just not having that um having nothing to worry about. That's what I was like okay. down to that decision. Now does this school take how far does this school take you? Do it take you cross state lines? <laughs> they won't get into all that. We won't get into all that. Does it take you cross state lines? But hey, listen. Let's, let's, end it. let's end all the drama, let's get deep. Everybody's waiting on it to hear where you going. Here we are at Duffins, on Tony Sands show. What school will be the school that is getting the rights to have you on their football field? We're gonna, who, we, you go ahead and break it down. What about like, 
for about the next three or four years. I'll be yes. taking my talents too. And has been delivered. And has been delivered. Now don't get nervous when I open that bag up now. You need me to. Y'all ready? We ready? ready? We ready? ready? Everybody ready? Everybody ready? Everybody ready? Let's do it, y'all, boy. HBCU all day. HB, if you are hearing, and I'm glad to hear a lot of things that are happening with HBCU. Deion Sanders took over Jackson State. You will get an opportunity in about two weeks to have an opportunity to go down and watch your family rap. Wait, Jackson State. Yes, sir. What is that going to be like for you? Show me what I got in school in about what six, seven months. Or just what I'm what I'm looking forward to next week. Next week. And we know here in the state of Florida, that's one game that means big time bragging rights in the state of Florida that takes place in November. What is it going to be like when you get the opportunity to play Bethune Cookman in what we call? The big boy game, the Florida <laughs> Classic here in the state. What is that going to be like? Gonna play Smash Mouth football. Everything I learned from right here, I'm going to take it to that game. So, so. Listen, listen, man. You make sure that you stay grounded. So. Stay grounded, keep grinding, make sure everything, you keep listening to your parents, regardless of how high you go with this thing. Stay grounded, stay with your roots that got you to this point. And sky's the limit. We're all here in Deerfield Beach and all throughout the nation are rooting for you. And we know coming upon the coach, men with your parents and all the guys that are here, we know that you are going to be another one of those, as I stated earlier, Buck Prize that are going to wear the shield in a couple of years. And you know what that shield is, right? You know what they call the shield, right? Three initials. Keep grinding. And that will take place. Hey, listen. And Sam, you, you got a winner. You got a buck prize. You got a buck prize. Mom is loving it. Dad, take this one. You can get so big up in this. Here on the Tony Sands show, we're going to take it one game at a time. But I'm not a coach. I am a train a coach, but not at Deerfield, but I love me some buck pride and young men because I've been a part of a lot of guys that come out of Deerfield. Yes, There's one game, guys, that we won't. And that's at the end of the year. And we've been coming up short. Yes, we gotta make sure. Take care. This year, Take care. I wanna listen. I want to book my hotel. <laughs> I want to book my hotel sure. and everybody else in deal deal do too. Man, hey, listen, a pleasure. Thank you for letting the Tony Sands show be a part of your assignment. We're going to head to a quick commercial break and we're coming back. Hey, you can see this young man every morning about 5.50 in the morning as he got up on his quest to be great. Joe, you're here at this moment. First of all, let's, let, let, before we get to all this, and I know everybody's waiting, and I know I keep people waiting and all that stuff, and the anticipation of it is big. What did it take to get to this moment? A lot. A lot of work, a lot of hard work, sacrifices, I can say, a lot of sacrifices. And you say sacrifices. A lot of people have different meaning, meaning to the word sacrifice. What was your sacrifice that went into your, you getting to this moment? A lot of things. Not even going out with friends, not even just doing certain stuff. Even with my family, I'm missing out on family events because right. of football. I'm so all in with football that I do everything I do is 100% with football. So I'm all in with it. If I got to sacrifice and mess out on something, mess out on something. It's my dream. And you know, there, there are a lot of buck prizes that are off playing at the college level and at the NFL level. Yes, you see so many guys that come back to you. What are some of the things that got like the Brandon Powell? Tell me. The main thing is just tell me to keep working. Don't stop. That's the main thing. Keep putting the work in. You put the work in, your results gonna come. And you 
question. You was one of those ones that went on that tour yes, with uh, 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 Coach Green. What was that like? It was amazing. Like I said, it was amazing because you had to see a lot of different, a lot of different coaches, a lot of different states and cities, a lot of different like. You see how they do different things at different colleges. I can see that. I see one thing. That was, was, was a really great experience. You're traveling on a bus with a bunch of guys. Twelve days. <laughs> what is that? What is that like on a bus? And, and you're on a, they're on a Greyhound bus. They, they travel. What is that like? Because you in and out of states, cities like that. What is that like? I can probably say it's tiring, but that's what comes with it, though. That's what comes with it, all the way to it. That's what comes with it. So you're going to be all in, you got to be all in. And as you said, Joe said, you got to be all in if you're going to be all in. But Joe, come to this point in your life to where, like I tell kids, these decisions here are life altering decisions. That's right. You have an opportunity for this decision right. to change not only your life, but the outcome. And to change all those dynamics, that's got to be something big to it. Is. But knowing amazing. in this process, depending on where you go, it can be a distance away. That'll be your first time, you know, you go on these trips, you know you're coming back home yeah. in the next couple of days. Yeah. But now you go on this trip that you're going to take, right. and there's not that coming back home within four or five days. What is that going to be like? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be tough at first, but I had to get through it though. I'm on a mission, so I had to finish that mission. And listen, uh, when you said mission, because that's what I was doing. I put a work in each and every day. I work hard. I work 10 times harder than everybody else. I know I'm a small dude, but it's all about heart. Eh? It's not all about size. Now, how many schools have you broken this decision? You said, you said, you said hey, listen, I got one more minute. How many other schools uh, that was in this process? Just two. Just two. And what, what two schools that you had? That you had to choose. Right now it's in Youngstown State. Without further ado, <laughs> let's not wait anymore. Let's get ready to make this decision happen, guys. Let's see what we're doing. Let's see what we're doing. So, we got For the next four years, I'll be going to Youngstown State University. Here, got all of your community. That doesn't happen anymore. 
But here, at Buck Rock, thank you, Joe, for coming out and enjoying this moment for the man. Hey, my pleasure. What is it like with your staff? You meet with your staff at the beginning of the end of one season going into the next season. What are some of the things that you would tell us? Uh, I mean, the, the, the standard is the standard at Deerfield Beach. So we, we set out every year. First off, we want to evaluate ourselves as coaches okay. uh, to see what we can do to get better individually uh, so that we can be better collectively when we come back before our kids. So we're ever evolving as a staff. So I mean, I've, I've got a, a bunch of men who have really, truly dedicated themselves to our program, to our kids, to our community. And uh, you know, my hat's off to them. So a lot of times, you know, my name is the one that's going to be in headlights. But I'm, I'm the product of a lot of great men that assist me and, and help me to be able to take this program to the heights we've taken it to. And we're not there yet. And, I, and when, you, when you speak on that, I had an opportunity two weeks to be in Camp Ohio. Mm -hmm. And I heard Jimmy Johnson say that same thing. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for guys like Noah Turner, if it wasn't for guys like Dave Weinstein, I wouldn't be standing before you. Definitely. What is it like preparing your guys to play true prep and understanding really what this thing is all about when you're trying to move this thing and continue to move this thing from one goal to mind? You prepare for a school like true prep. What goes through your mind and what goes through the kids' mind? How do you get the kids to move I believe that if you, if you get a chance to put on that scarlet and gold and that doesn't motivate you enough, you're in the wrong place. So then we've had guys that didn't understand, that's why they play for somebody else now. So that that's just, it, it is what it is. Yeah, that, that, that's that's, that's Deerfield that's Beach football. That, that's how it is. Yeah, and, and, and we, we have more power with that. Yeah. You are here. If you don't, listen, if I can help you get somewhere else, because yeah. I don't want you to be a hindrance exactly. to where we're trying to go. I, I tell you, we, we weren't the only school. I, I had a kid that was, was here with us. I uh, was told by you know another school, I won't say the name, that he can come there, be the man, and to be different, do that. Transferred out, went there, called me back and said, Coach, I want to come back. Can I come back? Yeah. Can I come back? And at this point, this guy, uh, you know, understand that when you, these things are not going to change. Yep. We done elevated. $2,000 stipend, the coach was there for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in the red for the next five years. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You got to lose money because there's so much money that you got. You may have to take a guy home. You may have to give a guy something to eat. Yeah. And when you talk about that little $2,000. Yeah. Anyway, but a, 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 night, a night like this makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, this is what we are yeah. talking about. This is what makes it, like you say, what makes it worthwhile. Coach, you going to go to a commercial break. Yeah. Got, the big, got the big dog up next. Got the yeah. big dog up next. Big AT. Let's go. Let's get ready. Number three. What made you want to be in the middle of the spot? Why not to be the top or the bottom? What was it about this lineup that you wanted to come and become number three in? To be, to be honest with you, I, I didn't I didn't pick. You didn't pick it? No. It just oh. fell in your lap, huh? Yeah. All right, listen. Here we are. Another signing. You've been around this some time. What was it like on the other side, sitting like some of these guys, when you was watching other guys commit and sign and go off to big schools, what was that like for you? A good experience, because I always had a dream, you know? And I wanted to become one of them. I put in the same game, get put in the same spot. And it, it just, it just it was a good experience. Now you're in that spot. Yeah. What do you tell some of those guys that's out there now that was in the spot that you in that's trying to get to this position? What do you tell them? Keep working. Keep working? Keep working. You'll get that soon. Keep working. You was one of the ones on those tours. What was it like going on that tour on that bus with all them book prize for 12 days? Jumping on and off a bus like a rapper. Yeah, That's like being a rock star when you're jumping on and off a bus. That many state, that many schools in that many days. It's like y'all was on tour, but you was on tour. What was that tour like for you? What what was it about the tour? Going on this tour, is that what made you decide the school that you were going to this day? Did that come out of this tour? Uh, first, it, it was stressful, real stressful. As you know, we had to wake up every day, go to a different school every day, a different state almost every day. And it was just stuff. And I mean, college-wise, I already had a good relationship with Coach Knight before the tour, so I already really had my mind up on the way to the tour. All right. How many schools have you broken this down to? Uh, one, really. I just got one, one on my head right now. That's what I'm talking about. This thing, now this, listen, this is a little different. This is a little different. Normally, we have guys that have about five or six hats up there. They don't know where they're going. Into the, what is it about you guys? To where, listen, it's one school. I know what it is. What was it about 
this one school that made you decide everybody else get behind me? I built a relationship with Coach Knight. And he was like, Are well, you to already? Other. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the chase. Yeah. What, what school yeah. are you talking about? Yeah. Breaking down commitments with Buck Pratt. Here we are. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. David, David, listen. When I saw him walk up, and I saw how he towered over Coach Glenn. I'm like, man, I want to be that is a massive young man. Right. I think put your hands up. Who's out there your hands? Yeah. It has a massive size hands. Lee, here you are. Yeah. First of all, let, let's wind this thing back a little bit. We're going to go back. What was it about? Gilbert Beach High School that made you want to be a part of this one? It was just a great environment. Like, I talked to a lot of players that came, uh, same thing I did, transfer from Mother State. They just told me how good it was. They just told me how Coach Glenn look out for his players and he's going to make sure you're good. And he's not going to tell you nothing wrong. And he's going to tell you everything and he's going to do everything he tell you. So after that, we made the decision and I just said, that's home, let's do it. Let's go. And now I'm at Deerfield. And you say you talk to a lot of players. Yeah. What's some of the players that you have to talk to? Uh, mostly Michael Pratt at Tulane. Uh, we had a good conversation. It was long. He told me about his move. He told me about how he went from under recruited. Uh, he got under Coach Glenn. He put him in the right places. Then everything took off. So, yeah, that's how that went. He wanted to make sure everything take off, buddy. Yes, sir. What were some of the things you knew that you had to do? to make sure that you be what Coach Glenn could do I, to make it happen. I just did what he told me. I, I, I took every step he told me. I did everything. Uh, I took advantage of every opportunity that was thrown at me and everything that's thrown in the place. So everything was thrown in the place. Yep. Now, you're here on this day. Yes, sir. Did you ever dream that this day was going to be a I, I knew it was gonna happen. I ain't know it was going. I ain't know this was gonna be. You ain't know, you ain't know yeah. we do it like this. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, but why? Yeah. Coach Glenn do it like this. Right. Glenn make this thing. This is the biggest commitment show when it comes to one school in the country. Right, right, right. We don't do it like this. They don't do it like this nowhere else. Right. You know, you may when you go off to some of these shows. You go off. You probably to you and your family. But we leave behind yep. all the guys that were a part and all the people that was a part of me getting to this place. Right. You guys get the pleasure to do it with your coaches, yep. with your family and your community. Right. That makes this even bigger than than, than any other thing. Right. You was one of the ones, did you go on that tour with them? Uh, I joined late. Oh, you go. Yeah. Listen, I can see why you do it. Listen, on that bus with that many guys, right. that many days, jumping on and off, well, I know that could be a tough position. I tell you quick, it's tough for me to ride from here to Orlando. Right. Sit still, but you knew that that's what had to go into you to get to yep. On that tour, was it, you, was your school chosen on that day? Uh, nah, it, not, not, not that day. Uh, we went through there, I came, and I came back in July. Uh -huh. And then after I went in July, I knew that was home, and I knew that was going to be. Now, how many other schools? Buying for your attention. Uh, it was it was it was a lot. It was a lot. It was, it was a lot. <laughs> did you have to break it down to a certain amount of schools? No, I did. I when, I when I went on my visit, I knew it was home. I I didn't I didn't need nothing else. You guys, are, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. There's something about Deerfield players, especially this go round. Right. So well, guess what? We ain't gotta come up with all the hats. Right. We all know where we want to go because we've been there, we've sat down with family, right. we've sat down with coaches, and we feel comfortable that we're, this is what our decision is going to be. Right. Are you a mid-year kid? Uh, yes, sir. So you know this is this thing going to get down to crunch time because yep. you're getting ready to leave in the next, what, three months? Yep. December, this thing of high school is over for you, but now, it's over. Now you go and you have to leave these pretty smiling faces that I see. Mom is just smiling from ear to ear. She ain't stop smiling in your, on, your, on your right side. Right. What is it going to be like? Because I tell kids this all the time because this is a part of this. What is it going to be like when you leave mama, leave mama, and now all of a sudden, see, you can yell in the next room, Mom, can you get me something to eat? Right. Now you yell, Mama, you might either call on the phone and say, hey, can you bring me something to eat when you come up? Right. What is that going to be like for you? Because you guys right. look like a real tight fan. Yeah, it's going to be different. You know, I'm used to give my mom everything when I want it. So it's like, <laughs> it's, it's going to be different. So you're going to be able to cook your favorite dish. What is your favorite dish? I don't, I don't have a favorite dish. You don't have a favorite dish. You just eat everything. Right, right, right. 
Wow. You know, we, it was a guy, it, when I was coming up as a kid called Mikey, they used to say, give it to Mikey, he eats anything. He likes it. Right. He likes it. You like anything that she put in front of you because you know it's something that's nourishing for your body. Yeah. We had this moment. This day has come. Now you got to make a decision. And everybody got to know. Because the nation is waiting to see where you are going. Yep. Yeah. What school? Oh, here we go. What's something about this bag? I'm gonna have to take it out of this hole. Tell 
Yeah, but I changed. So. I changed it. I did different with it. I got a state championship win. Yes, That's what you guys at Deerfield got to do. You got to say, guess what? We're changing this thing. But it's got to be each and every one of you guys that are in it. They got to make sure that you have the back of the other man. I got to know that you got my back and I got yours. I'm my brother's keeper. When we come to that, then you guys got this thing. Stop. Listen, I'm looking at your schedule. And, and uh, you know, I ain't going to make you become bulletin board, but, you know, to get nobody else no motivation. But I can do it because I ain't, you know, I ain't playing. When I look at that schedule, I, as I told each and every guy that came up here, I should be able to book my hotel room. Because I'm depending on this number four to make sure that that happens. But I want to book my hotel room so we can, I can be at the last game of the year in high school football. And you know, we know what that is. And who we are at your commitment, this is a big day for you. Bless sure you, you waited on this for a while. You probably seen other guys get up here because, like I say, Coach Glenn do it different than anybody. This is the biggest commitment show uh, in the country. Nobody does it to where you do it with your team, your parents, and your community. They don't do it like this. You may do it with a couple of your parents. You may do it with your school, but you don't do it when you got all that together on a night like this. How many schools did you have to make this decision between to finalize it down to this one? When you look at 10, some of the guys said, listen, I just had one, I know what I want, you said 10. Well, how did you break it down from 10 to 1? Um, that's easy. Uh, all my visits, uh, it, was, it was just different from Iowa. I feel like the attention of the people at Iowa is different from other schools just trying to, you know. So you've already, technically you've already told them where you're going. Let's go ahead and announce it, because you've already did. Let's go ahead and get the weight out of the way. Let's go!
life mm -hmm. hangs around you. Okay. I know it's a lot of pressure, but like you say, this is what you were built for. You were built like a boy, you you're built tough. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Stay grounded, stay who you are. I know you're going to miss family, but that's part of this business that we are in. As we change, I'll be there. Yeah, I, I, you, you, you ain't got it. I already know. Trust me, at a drop of a dime, your family's going to be there with you. They're going to press you each and every Saturday afternoon, whether you guys are in Iowa or you're somewhere else, your family's going to be in the building. Man, you got a great family, great kid. Listen, thank you. Thank you, and more thank you for letting us be a part of this. Like I said, I wish you much success, but I know it's coming. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thing that these people don't see, man. Yeah, they, they don't that, see. That's what I'm saying.